Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these elegant 8mm Rivoli earrings. They are easy to make, in fact I'm making it with a starting beading kit, my first Peyote bezel uh, that I have an unboxing video of that you could see here. I'm using uh, this starter kit to make them, I'm showing step by step and I'm sure even if you are a beginner, you will be able to make them by yourself. And down there in description, I have all the materials needed. In fact, this is the starting kit and maybe some more delicate bits. You could uh, find them on the website of my friends from Beading School by Erica Sandor that were so kind to send me this kit. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook or Instagram pages that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And down there, in description you will find all the useful resources that I mentioned, link to my second channel, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so as I told you here I'm using the beads from the first Peyote bezel kit. Uh, besides the beads that I'm using from this kit, which are these beautiful 15-0 beads and this amazing just amazing Rivoli crystal you see you could see uh, purple blue white in it it's so beautiful and um, I'm using also this uh, fire line that is 0 0.005 inches or 0 0.12 millimeters uh, from this kit and from my own stash I'm using three colors of 11 ounce Delica beads and uh, you could see similar colors on the website of Beading School by Erica Sandor and I will link to all the 11 old Delica beads so you could choose your own colors that you like. Here I use this size 11 tulip beading needle that is also from the starter kit. You could use size 12, 11 or 10. Uh, they all, all will work for this project. And I'm going to pick up about half an arm span of thread on my needle. Maybe I think uh, four feet will be enough, which is 1.2 meters. Okay, and I'll put it on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I will start my design with bezeling again. And as you may see here from this leaflet, if you want to bezel 8 millimeter Rivoli, this crystal is 8 millimeter Rivoli you will start with 22 beads, okay? So I already bezeled one of my Rivolis, that's why you see here one, okay? And now I'm going to pick up 22 Delica beads for my first row. Okay, I will pick them up and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and then now I have my 22 Delica beads. 5 times 4 it's 20 plus 2 more it's 22 and I'm going to slide those down. Okay. Now guys, what I want to do is go back through all of those beads in this direction. Just like this. I'm going because I want to form a circle of beads. Okay, now I have this. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot with my main thread and my tail thread and I'm making it by making here a loop and I'm going twice through this loop I've made. Then I pull gently. Okay. So now I have this and I will go through some beads in this direction and when I pull my knots hides inside. 
okay so this is my first row and now i will start another row okay i'm taking one seed bead i'm skipping the one that's on my way as i'm exiting from this one i'm skipping this one and going through the following this what i'm showing you here guys if you're not familiar is called peyote stitch it's like a mosaic beading okay one more skip the following and go through the next one you will see how the beads will zigzag in this row okay then i take one more skip and go here okay just like that i will show you one more time guys and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last bead from this row okay now i have this beautiful circle of beads and i want to go here at the inner part of the circle okay I'm exiting through this bit that's sticking out compared to this one. I mean, you see where my thread is. Okay, now here I'm going to take one 15 0 and I'm going through the following bit. Okay, then I will take one more, go here through the next one. And this row, guys, is really pleasant and really easy. Just fill in the gaps between the bits that are sticking uh, with um, these smaller bits of size 15 -0. It's a really pleasant row. Okay, continue this and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last 15 0 bead here okay and don't worry if you feel tension here because in this row the beads will pop up a little bit and like this in this direction they will just follow the natural curves and facets of the rivoli so that is why is this band okay so i'm stepping up in this row with the 15 o's just like this i'm stepping up in it okay i'm exiting out of this 15 o and i will start another row with 15 o's okay just like this filling the gaps between those beads that are sticking out and just to show you this will be the front part of my work and the rivoli will fit perfectly here when I finish uh, this row and when I finish the back of my work. Okay, so now I will take this seed bead, go through the following that's sticking out just like this, then another one go through this one that's sticking out you know it's popping up from this side that is why maybe you feel like you don't have enough space but in fact you have it don't worry it will stay perfectly okay so now guys what i do is just that i fill in the gaps between those bits okay i'm making another row of peyote stitch the so-called peyote stitch and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and i'm here guys where i need to fill in my last two gaps from this row okay i'm adding this one okay you see how it bends to the center and i will add here the last one okay Okay guys, now you could go reinforce this row one more time if you feel like it. And now 
I will show you my next step. And my next step is to go here at the back of my work where I will attach my Rivoli at the end. Okay, here I'm exiting from this side. Okay, now as I turn my work in this direction, you see here I have those gaps that I need to fill with smaller bits, okay, and my Rivoli with, will fit in here, okay. So I will start adding them. I'm taking one C bit, going here through the next bit that's sticking out. You see how I'm filling the gap. It's like it was at the front part, but here it is the same thing at the back. Okay, going through the following bit that's sticking out and one more by the way you could put the rivoli at the next row and now guys you see what i have and see how it bends to the center as i continue beating okay and i will do this off camera and i'll be back to show you what's coming up next Okay, guys, and as I continue beading, you see how this one bends to the center of my work. You see how it looks from this side. And here I am where I need to fill in my last gap. And in order to fill it, I'm taking just one 15 -0 going through this white one and through the following 15 -0 in my row. Okay? Then, guys, I'm exiting out of this 15 -0. I and I think uh, you could guess what's coming up next. Okay, one bit, and I'm going through this 15 -0 that's sticking out. Okay, one more, and I'm going through the following 15 -0 that's sticking out. Okay. And at, at this point, guys, it's better to add your Rivoli inside because otherwise you won't be able to add it anymore. Okay, I'm showing one more bit here that I'm adding. Okay, and I will continue doing this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And this row is similar to the one that I did at the front of my crystal. Now you could go reinforce your work. You could fit it to stay in a nice and better shape. Reinforce, okay, whatever. And now, guys, I'm going to cut this tail thread because I don't need it anymore. Okay, I'm cutting it. Okay. And now what I want to do next is to go here at the edge through one of the beads that are sticking out. You see, here I am. And this one is sticking out and this one is sticking out and this one you see here at the middle row. Okay this one this one this one okay so i'm exiting through one of them and i'm going to take one silver bead and go through the following and pull one more silver go through the following one more and this row guys is also really pleasant and really easy so I will continue this off camera and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. And here I am guys where I'm adding my last silver bead from this row. You see how they beautifully stick out those beads, okay? So now I will step up in my next row. Okay, I'm exiting here. And what I need to add is 11501 blue 11 and one 15 
okay this is what i have and as i'm exiting from this silver i'm going through the next one then again a 15 all a blue and a 15 all go through the next silver and again go through the following that's sticking out and now guys i will continue doing this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here where i'm just adding my last three beads from this row which are absolutely the same and i'm going here through this silver okay and when I pull, I have this, okay? So now, guys, in my next step, what I want to do is exit through one of those blue beads. And I'm going to take five 50 nos. Okay, I have here my five. And I'm going through the following blue bead. Okay, now I have this. Then again, I'm taking five. Okay, five again. Going through the following blue. Okay. I'm showing you one more time. Okay, five going through the following okay guys and i will continue doing this and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now i'm here where i'm adding my last five beads from this row and don't worry that your beads move and bend like this now we will make an additional row and we will fix this okay so what are we going to do is go here through two beads in this direction just like this we are skipping the one that's here in the center and go through the following two beads okay just like this And when I pull, guys, and push this bead to the center, you see what I have, a beautiful angle. And I will show you again, going through two beads in this direction. Skipping the middle one that's on my way and going through the following two beads. Okay. Okay. I'm not going with my thread through the central one and when I pull I have an angle. Showing one more time, go through two beads, skip the one that's in the center of your work and go through the following two, okay, and pull. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm making an angle at my last step, okay? And now what I want to do is go here through these two beads and exit through the next angle, okay? Now guys, as I'm exiting at this angle here, what I want to do is pick up 7 seed beads of this 15 all. Okay, and I have my 7 here, and I'm going through the following angle bit. Okay, now I have this. Then again, I'm going to pick up seven. Okay. I have seven here. 
go to the next angle one more time okay here it is and I go here okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm putting my last seven beads from this row as I'm exiting through one of the angles I'm going through the other angle okay so now I'm going to do a similar thing that I did in my previous step here I will go through three beads skip the central bead here and go through the next three beads okay so when I pull there is an angle here you see okay I'm going to show it again three beads skipping the angle bead which is the central bead and pull again pull tight if it doesn't want to go in this direction just pull it with your needle it will go okay guys and continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm making my last angle here and see how beautiful it looks when I have those angles here done okay this is my last angle and now guys I want to reach my next angle because here I'm going to attach my ear wire okay and I take my earring finding okay and I want to attach it in this direction not in this direction because I want the blue part of my rivoli to be the front of my earring okay so that is why I'm taking it in this direction and I'm taking two 15 O's I'm going here through my earring finding and I'm taking two more seed beads and I'm going back here through this one at the angle okay now I have my earring finding attached and what I want to do is reinforce this joint okay reinforce it three two times whatever and I forgot to tell you that you could expand your work with more and more similar rows with angles for example here we have seven seed beads in the next row you could have nine in the next row you could have 11 and you could make a larger earring if you don't like small earrings okay that was what I wanted to tell you and now I'm going to make a knot and I'm going to cut my thread okay here I am at the angle and I'm making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then what I do is that I go through the following seed bead guys okay and then I'm going to stick my needle in my mat and I'm going to cut my tail thread okay my thread okay guys and now my 8 millimeter Rivoli fine earring is ready okay guys so my elegant 8 millimeter Rivoli earrings are ready you could see all the useful resources that I mentioned in the description down there uh, you could see the website of Beading School by Erika Sandor where you could find all the useful supplies that you need for this project and uh, you could see a full list of materials 
and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials and also a link to my second channel and a PayPal link for donation to develop my work. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Thank you so much for being with me. Bye-bye.